Hi guys! Uh, so today I'm doing something a little bit different and I'm filming in my lounge room because why not? I've just done a big sort out of my wardrobe and it looks kind of nice filming in here. So maybe sometimes I will film in here instead of my bedroom. Anyway, today's video is uh, a video about wigs and I haven't done one for a little while. I'm going to be reviewing the wig I'm wearing today, which was sent for me from uniwigs.com. And I've worked with them before and I've always loved their wigs, so I'm really excited to be reviewing this one for you guys. And I'm also going to be talking about my opinions on the difference between human hair and synthetic wigs which is better, which one I prefer, and just kind of the pros and cons of each type of wig. If you're new to the world of wigs, then I know quite a lot. I've been wearing them for about f well over five years now, and so I there's quite a lot to know because it's just like there's so many different types of wigs out there. Before I tell you about human hair versus synthetic wigs, I want to tell you all about the wig I'm wearing today. And like I said, it was sent to me from uniwigs.com. And this wig is called the Ciara. I have the specifics of the wigs, the wig down in the description box. I had this one custom for me. Uh, of the Ciara style, uh, came in like an ombre kind of style uh, in more natural colors but I got it in the platinum blonde the 613 blonde I think it would be or the 60 blonde firstly I'll just show you what kind of came with the wig and everything so the wig came in a box like this and inside okay it's not in the box now but it came with a really great wig brush which is really gentle on the wig uh, it's a loop brush so that was really great uh, and they also put in all these little human hair clip on uh, streaks and sometimes I will just clip them into this wig and just if I want to add a little bit of color to it then I can do that just like my own hair you also get a little guide on how to fit and wear and take care of your wig which is really great because if you're new to the world of wigs uh, it's a nice little addition to be in there because it's quite daunting to have a human hair wig for the first time and not know how to care for it so it comes with that as well and I also got this and I th I'm pretty sure I got this with the last wig I got from them as well uh, it's just a loop with all the different colors that the human hair wigs come in and this is so useful for me if I order another one because I can see exactly what all the colors look like in person before I go and order a new wig. The wig itself is uh, full lace and most human hair wigs or most lace wigs are just lace front but this is a full lace wig which means that the whole of the cap is all lace with all the hair sewn in, not in wefts. And the benefit to that is that if I pull this up and say tie one area up, it still looks, you can still see the scalp and it still looks natural instead of seeing the wefts, which you often see in a lot of other wigs. The length is really long for a human hair wig. Like I said, I've uh, received uni wigs, wigs before, I've purchased them out of my own money before and they are the best human hair wigs I have personally tried. I have another human hair wig which cost about $1200 and it does not match up to these wigs and these wigs are a lot cheaper than that. They're really really good value for money. Uh, the thing I like about this wig is, I'll get into a bit more about human hair wigs in a bit, but this is Remy Human Hair. Now, if, if any of you buy hair extensions, you know that Remy is the really high quality uh, hair that still has the cuticles intact, which means it remains, it's kept its natural shine and sheen to it. Uh, and it just means it's basically going to last a lot longer and look a lot shinier. And considering this is really bleached, really light blonde hair, it's so long and it's so healthy looking for this color so I'm really happy with the quality of this hair in this wig another thing I really like about this wig is that it's a really nice thickness 
a lot of the cheaper human hair wigs that you'll see on the market are made out of they'll be all different lengths like I received one once and it was so bad I sent it back because this hair is the same length all the way down and it just this one I had had snapped off all through here and also it was really thin a lot of human hair wigs are very thin uh, they'll often do this to save on money uh, but it's not so thick that it looks really fake but the great thing about this wig is that I can always add in some extra clip-on wefts if I want it to be a bit longer or a bit thicker and the hairline on this wig is really great as well like I said, it's full lace, which means I can part it at any angle or tie it up however I want. I have nothing bad to say about this wig. Uh, the last wig I got from Uni Wigs was the Dolly wig, and I really liked that. But I actually like this one a bit uh, better because I prefer the hairline on it, and also it's a bit longer. So this is my favorite uh, human hair wig that I've ever had, and I'm kind of keen to get some more and have a little play around with them. So if you are interested in getting a human hair wig from Uniwigs, then I will provide a coupon code down in the description box and you can check them out for yourself. They can customize anything that you want in human hair, which is so great. You can get whatever length you want, whatever color you want, and you can get a thicker density of hair, you can get it like longer, shorter, all sorts of things so they're really great like that too they'll custom order something for you if you see something if they don't have what you want on the site specifically you can custom order something so that's a bit about my wig now I'm gonna get on to talking about human hair versus synthetic wig the great thing about human hair wigs is it's just like having your own hair you can cut it really nicely you can fully heat style it, you can blow dry it, you can dye it any colour you want which is really great if you want a, uh, say I did that rainbow ombre wig which you can see in one of my other videos that was a Uniwix wig as well and I was able to completely dye that wig because it was human hair and so yeah you can basically treat it like your own hair which is great uh, I also find that human hair wigs generally last a lot longer than synthetic wigs uh, just because the human hair fibers don't get really frizzy easily and if they did you can straighten them out whereas synthetic hair sometimes snags and snaps as time goes on. Some of the main uh, things that I like about synthetic wigs Synthetic wigs are obviously a lot cheaper. I have paid a decent amount for some lace front or custom styled synthetic wigs, but generally I've paid no more than $200, whereas a high quality human hair wig generally starts from $500 upwards. But there are some benefits to synthetic wigs that I think human hair wigs don't have. Here is one of my synthetic wigs, which is a Marilyn style. Now a really great thing about synthetic wigs is if you want a really thick, outrageous, very highly stylized look, it holds really well in synthetic fibers. So you can wash this and you can, uh, you know, have this for a long time and it will keep this style. Whereas a human hair wig is kind of like your own hair where the style will drop out. So I have this custom Marilyn one, I also have a custom Betty Page one which you guys have seen me wear before and I love that they're in synthetic fibres because they hold that really updone style. Most drag queens opt for synthetic wigs for that reason. I know that I read that RuPaul has only synthetic wigs because they hold those really uh, overdone, over stylized looks which is harder to achieve with human hair. Another benefit to synthetic wigs is that they're really amazing when it comes to colour. So here is a bright yellow synthetic wig I have and I often find that when I'm dyeing a human hair wig that they don't they can't get that vibrancy that synthetic hair can get. They just have this really strong, solid colors, which I love for photo shoots and for when I want to do something a little bit more crazy. 
So that's another benefit to synthetic fibers. Also synthetic fibers are generally much easier to maintain. You don't need to wash them as much. Uh, you don't need to brush them as much. But over time, no matter how much you spent on your synthetic wig, they too tend to go frizzy and they don't last as long. Okay, so which one is better? Well, as you can kind of tell from what I've said, I don't personally think that one is better over another. I think that human hair wigs are really great when you want to go for a more realistic kind of look. If you want to be wearing in the daytime and you don't want people to know that you're wearing a wig, uh, so a lot of people that go through chemo and uh, have alopecia or anything like that, they will opt for a human hair wig because they're not going for that really fake stylized look. They want it to look like their own hair. In which case I would opt for a human hair wig every time. Uh, you can get really high quality synthetic fibers. That's another thing I wanted to mention. Uh, this fiber here, uh, as you can see it's synthetic but it's not like those awful uh, wigs that you get from party stores where they're very shiny. This is actually a fairly heat resistant fiber called Kanekalon and it is uh, quite versatile in that you can style it on a low heat with heat, uh, heat tools and also it does uh, it's not as shiny as a really synthetic plasticky fiber so if you are opting for a synthetic wig I would always opt for a higher quality synthetic as well uh, benefits of synthetic wigs again uh, I love them for every day uh, when I want to do something louder or I want a really big style uh, when I want something really really colorful uh, and because I like that kind of really overdone look I often would choose a synthetic wig over a human hair wig so I don't have a personal favorite I like them I like human hair wigs better for some occasions and I like synthetic wigs better for other occasions uh, if you guys have any other questions about human hair versus synthetic wigs, feel free to ask me. I love having this wig because I know it's going to last me for a long time. And I know that if I want to style it and I want to straighten it again the next day, or I want to put a toner through it, or I want to dip dye the ends, whatever, I can do it to this wig. So the versatility with human hair is amazing. It's literally like having a second head of hair. So that's a great way to look at it. So if you are thinking about investing in a human hair wig, I really do recommend uni wigs. Uh, I've never had a bad experience from them and I've always loved their wigs. And I will continue to buy from them every time I want something new in human hair. And while we're talking about synthetic wigs, I am kind of in the process of relaunching selling synthetic wigs, but I do kind of want to do something custom so I I would like to have custom wigs made so that's all kind of like in the pipeline you guys know how much wigs are a huge part of my life and I would love to be able to bring my own wigs to you so we'll have to see if that happens but until then uh, like usual please if you liked the video subscribe and thumbs thumbs me up. <laughs> I never tell you guys to do that, but all right, I'm going to try it. So yeah. And if you like me filming in this different room, let me know too. Uh, it's nice and relaxing and, um, I'll speak to you guys soon. <laughs> Bye.